今天来看的话。Our new platform architecture for making electric vehicles will firstly reduce the cost of the development and manufacturing. The platform brings together our research and development outcomes in the past nine years. We think it can reduce the overall cost of a car by 25 percent. That is our goal. Take a look at the G6 that we are bringing to this year's auto show. The first car built on this new platform. We have increased the battery range to 755 kilometers. With the upgraded radar and sensor system, G6 will, in a year's time, have the ability to do city-to-city -city autonomous driving among 200 cities. Before G6, we could only do that in small regions. The platform has also boosted the durability, stability, and safety of our cars. You're on record saying that China's auto competition has entered the knockout stage, and there will only be eight finalists left. How will you do to secure a seat among those eight finalists? I believe three main aspects need to be done well for automakers. First, you need a future-oriented technology and a product architecture that can create good products for global consumers. Second, you need to have a cooperative structure. That is consumer-oriented and very international. I think good management and governance support cooperative growth. Third, you need the ability to sell globally, with large-scale hardware and software delivery capabilities and good cost management. What's the criteria to become a member of that eight finalists? To be honest, I think it's a very high bar. If you make mid to high end cars, I think you need to sell at least three million vehicles a year. If you target the market segment below that, you need to sell more than five million units a year. I'm only talking about the minimum requirements. In other words, by the end of the market race, you need at least one trillion yuan of revenue per year to be in the top eight. Now we are in the post-pandemic recovery here in China. Do you see the demand coming back? I think all hardware and software products are driven by scientific and technological innovation, and the next generation of technological innovation will continue after China's new energy transformation. For the near term, in the second half of the 2023, China's economic recovery will accelerate. So will the recovery of the auto market. Exmo has been leading the product delivery here in China in terms of numbers among the big three homegrown brands, but that number has been falling. What would you do to take your market position back? We've been adapting to our new generation EV manufacturing architecture. Which will support the development of ten models. So the new G6 is a new starting point for us. We will start deliveries of the G6 in the third quarter of this year. By then, you will see our sales and product deliveries rapidly pick up. And I'm confident Xiaopeng will return to the first place in the second half of this year or next year.